Hi, uh, in this uh, video tutorial, I will cover uh, double check locking design pattern out of order rights uh, issue. Uh, before uh, watch this video, please log into my channel and watch uh, double check locking design pattern introduction and implementation. Uh, then come and watch uh, this video so that you will understand uh, in this video tutorial very clearly. Uh, now we will see uh, what is out of order rights. Okay, and here uh, you can see public uh, static singleton get instance, and if instance equal to equal to null, put the lock, and if instance equal to equal to null, uh, create the instance and assign to this instance variable and return this uh, instance. So this is the implementation of uh, double checked uh, locking design pattern we will see what, uh, how the out of order rights uh, occurs suppose uh, say there are two two threads uh, which enter into the get instance uh, method simultaneously what happens suppose say thread a first comes and it enter into the get instance method first it will check instance equal to equal to null uh, still instance is equal to equal to null so it will come and put lock here and uh, again it will check instance equal to equal to null and uh, thread a reaches uh, this line okay so internally in the memory model what it will happen is uh, memory will be allocated for the singleton object and that memory will be assigned to the instance uh, so in this in this line uh, the instance will be uh, not null but it is not initialized so to initialize uh, this constructor should be called and whatever uh, lines are there in the constructor should be executed so that it will become the uh, fully initialized object so when this line happens the thread a uh, the thread a allows thread b to execute so thread b comes here and it will check instance equal to equal to null uh, because this line has executed in the memory so instance uh, won't be equal to equal to null it will be not null so this whole if block will be will be uh, will be won't be executed in this whole instance uh, this instance equal to equal to null this if if class is no it it won't be executed and uh, it will return the instance that instance is not null but it is not a fully initialized uh, instance okay uh, then thread b goes and thread a comes here and uh, thread a will continue from uh, this position and uh, initialize the instance and it will return the fully uh, constructed instance to the caller so in this way thread a uh, thread a return the instance which is fully constructed but thread b uh, return the instance which is partially uh, in, uh, initialized so this is the problem this is called out of uh, order rights issue okay so this is not because of the uh, bug in jvm it is because of the java memory model uh, allows this kind of out of order rights okay so because of this uh, the double check locking uh, pattern won't work theoretically it is okay but uh, uh, as per this uh, java uh, memory model it won't work properly so it is called andy design pattern and uh, this is about uh, double checked uh, locking design pattern uh, out of order uh, rights issue and uh, thanks for watching bye